Hello everyone and welcome you all. So today is very exciting day because today we're going to talk about XML. Okay. So what is an XML? So this we will be discussing about in a today's session along with we'll be also taking you towards a little bit hands on and some detailed description about an XML so that you will get the complete clarity of what XML really does. So let's get started. So first of all what we have it today so we'll be talking about introduction to xml features of xml some advantages of xml limitations of xml and the comparison between html versus xml and then we'll be having a demo now let's get started about an xml so we're going to start with the introduction what is an xml see typically we say xml stand for extensible markup language it is a language which we use it for machine okay so that we can send some instructions to our uh, I would say uh, computerized developed containers or some softwares because XML is one of the very very easy language which we use it but it is not for a human human in the sense like it is not designed to uh, be read by human it is designed to be read by your computer components so it is designed to send, store and receive to display the data. So it is actually a platform and programming language independent. That means you talk about it as a platform and language independent language. And where the HTML comes with predefined tag, XML doesn't have any predefined tag. That means you go and create your own tags. Okay. Well, let's quickly talk about the features of XML. See. As I said, extensible and human readable. Human readable means it is not like an assembly language which human cannot read it. Okay, it is not a machine language which human cannot read it. Human can read it, but it is not a human friendly. The way you see the typical languages are there. Okay, it preserves the white spaces. So if you give the extra spaces, so white spaces are actually preserved here. So the best part is what it is more simple to use and implement. Okay. And uh, XML is all about holding the data where the HTML is responsible for presenting the data. So normally we say HTML is designed for presenting what data we are trying to offer it to display. And XML is talking about what data is. Okay, so there are two different ideas. Now undefined tags, that means you go and create your own tags here. So it is primarily known for holding the data so if you want to send some information or receive some information you put it under the XML so it is a well structured format so we know it XML is W3C standard so it contains all the necessary structured information and sub descriptive in nature because while seeing this you can itself you easily make it out what is going on inside now advantages of XML now the first is it is a platform independent it supports a standard Unicode bits character set and whenever you want to transport any data while sending from one language to another language you can easily do that so overall I can say like there are two languages which wants to communicate with each other like in .NET and Java so neither .NET needs to know about a Java nor Java needs to know about .NET but they can send the data to each other in the form of XML which both of them know how to interpret so that is the best part of the XML so you can say it is a completely compatible with Java and 100% portable. In fact, XML can be also be compatible with other languages too, like in PHP and .NET and all. Okay, so as I discussed with you for the sharing the information, and uh, when you want to talk about uh, the DTD called Document Type Definition, this is the very old and simplified version of the uh, XML where the DTD will define the schema saying that hey this is what a document must be formatted in that way so when it comes to the formatting like you talk about the document has to have these many fields so you talk about these things when it comes to the DTD into this picture now the limitations of XML number one as I discussed with you it is verbose and rendered compared to the JSON because JSON is the modern day language which we use it compared to the XML which is far more easier but you cannot avoid or you cannot ignore the presence of XML in the current market high storage transportation cost for large volume data but obvious because 
when you send some information in the form of XML. So certainly you require some additional parsers which needs to parse the data and for that heavy parser it requires more memory and more storage too. So it doesn't support an array. Okay, so just support the normal, I would say the string data which you want to carry it now. Okay, so it is file size are usually large because due to its verbose in nature. So there are some limitations are available in XML. Okay, so HTML versus XML, I told you earlier, HTML is all about how to display and XML is all about what data is. Okay, HTML is a markup language, XML is also markup language, but it is all about, uh, it offers a framework to define the markup language. It is not a case sensitive, HTML, XML is a case sensitive. HTML has its own predefined tag, XML, you go and create your own tags as per your own need. So HTML contents are more static in nature, XML is more dynamic because it is designed to transport the data from one source to the another source here. So it doesn't preserve the white space, but yes, XML does preserve the white spaces. And then we will talk about demo now. Okay everyone, so let's get started. It's a demo time now. So here I will tell you about how to develop the XML document. So here, if you see, I have a got Visual Studio code. This Visual Studio code is very simple and easy to use editor and as a front-end developer it is one of the most favorite tool for every users nowadays. Now here if you want to develop this XML base so here we have some extensions available. So if you click on extension and search for XML so you will see there are some okay so XML tools are available like in formatting okay xml document so you see there is a uh, simple xml formatter which is there okay which you can use it now so there are multiple tools are available you can see now xml okay so you have got multiple tools which are there which you can use it anywhere to you can see for xml formatting xpath s query so multiple options are there which you can use it as per your own requirement okay so it's up to you now which one you want to pick it up okay so this is the xml format is a one of the tool which is there so you can use it so i can use this xml format is is one of the very very common tool which is there i'm installing this well i close this and i go back to my code and uh, create the new file and uh, give the name called anything suppose if i give the name called employee.xml Okay, and now you can see this extension automatically appears. And uh, inside this XML, okay, so if I want to go ahead and uh, start developing this code one by one, so how to start now? So the first thing I would like to always start with uh, my data. So I'm saying employees. okay so you can see now it is also offering you one support for closing this tag so here after that I will be using some input by saying employee and uh, inside this employee I'll be giving the ID and say ID equal to single quotes I can just give the value call like this okay and now Employee. I'm closing this going forward I can use the first name so you see like in a first name because see these tags which I'm talking about there are custom tags they're not predefined one okay so I'm just giving the name called John here and uh, after this Okay, so along with this John, I just give the name called Styles as the last name. Now we're giving title, and here I will give the value so we can just say engineer. Okay, 
like I can give this another one division and uh, here in this division I can offer materials okay after this I can add one more property here for building building in building I can give the property like you can say 7 like this and in the same one we can offer one more property here and that is called room okay and I can give the room number here which I can say like C27 okay I can say room number 90 or anything so that's the first set of record which I'm having right now. Okay, so likewise I can have n number of records as we really want it now. Okay, so let's add few more records here. Here to here is an employee, and let me add few more. And here I say format document. We call XML format so you can see it has immediately formatted your data or the complete file in a very very beautiful way so here we want to five and here we can just give the name call well, and, and we can just change the name account and uh, change the name once again like this so I like this I will be like to have few more records as I can see here when you want to five and give some different way if you want QA you can say building number 337 room number 30 okay so like this I have got some records of me okay and now if I want to see how the outcome would be so I can just right click and say reveal in finder and here when I right click and I say open with my chrome browser so you will see this is how the document appears like there will be nothing every browser does contain the same format whether you use chrome whether you use microsoft uh, edge or any other browser the option going to be remain same so now we talk about one more that is called json formatter and we are just saying xml is not very very popular tool you can see uh, XML format from here you can see the tree structure so here I just copy the code and paste it right here so that's what my code which is there with me so if I just want to say format beautify so this is how the code will actually look like in okay if I want to say XML tree so you can sh see like there's a one object name called employees under this we have about three objects are available and every object will have seven child inside this so this is how the tree is gonna really look like it so this is formatter can really offer something very very interesting and uh, if you want to perform uh, minify or compact so like the size if you want to reduce it you can also reduce the size also so that you know you can continue you can consume the less space this is called xml to json so what it does it basically takes your xml and convert it into the form of what json so it is a fantastic tool which you people can use it for your general purpose so overall you can see friend the xml is a very popular tool okay and there are so many options are available which you can use it and explore it so that's it about an xml okay thank you
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.